remember to turn the TV off. Yes. It's probably just the ice maker. Go back to sleep. and see if everything's okay. Babe! It'll be all right. Go to the bathroom and lock the door. It's nothing, okay? It's for self-defense. It's for home defense. It's for protection. Protection? Yes, it's a necessary to the security of a free state. It's a right of the people to keep and bear arms. Mm, to protect a, themselves. It's appalling. But it's a right that shall not be infringed upon by the powers of tyranny. Well, it's disgusting and it's... it's I cannot believe you went behind my back and did this. It's totally legal, okay? It's registered. It's not like I'm driving around with it hidden in the glove box. Did you know that the states with the highest gun ownership rates have more gun violence by far? Oh, well, the states with the most miles of coastline have by far oh. more shark attacks than, let's say, Kansas. But should we outlaw going to the beach? Don't be facetious, Craig! I am not being a fascist, all right? We're being fucking robbed and you want to bust my balls like you do all the time. Oh. So you're gonna go jump clean. Pow, 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 pow. To what? Save your Xbox and for a shitty ass coffee machine! Hey, that Xbox is also our DVD player! So what? I should go lock myself in the bathroom while you run downstairs and. What are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? You're loading it? But it's not a flashlight. What am I supposed to do while you're down? It'll be like when you hide under the covers and, and make me kill spiders in the bathtub. You will need to clean up the brains because I can't stand the smell of bleach up close. Excuse me? Are we on the same team? Oh, spare me, Satya. You know what this is? This is about me and your mother at Thanksgiving. You just can't drop the fact that I was right and she was oh, out of line. You can't argue with the facts, Craig! Did you know that in 2015 some 13,286 people were killed in the United States alone by gun violence. Oh, oh, there you go. You and your statistics. Excuse me? You heard me. You anti-gun people go on the internet and memorize the first thing you find as long as it agrees with your opinion on this subject. And then you go dump it off on someone else the first chance you get. What are you doing? That's my robe! I'm going to my mother's. Good luck with the hot groomer, you fuck! Is the guy still up there?
You got the rope? You know, she does this all the time. She never takes a second to consider my side of the argument. And trust me, it did not start with this. You should have seen her last month at Bloomingdale's. I had to talk her out of buying some silly next espresso machine. It's like any time I have a point to make about something, you know, she's already made up her mind. And this, forget it. You know, I think a lot of it comes from the news she watches. It is very one-sided. I read that a way to compromise on this issue was to keep the gun in one place and the bullets somewhere else. That way it's less dangerous, you know? Less prone to accidents. But um, I guess that only applies if you remember to uh, buy the bullets. Hey, do you have the original box for this? It's nice. Is that a Rolex?